Hello learners, I am Parikshit Saikya and welcome to the 99 percentile club on an academy. I have nearly 9 years of teaching experience and today we are going to discuss a brilliant diamond work question. So let's get started. Working at a constant rate of 1 by 38 of a day per chair, a machine was supposed to make 600 chairs. However, during the first session, the machine made only 512 of the total chairs. In the second session, the machine made the remaining chairs by making 20 chairs per day more than it did in the first session. If the actual time taken to make 600 chairs was 50% less than the planned time, how many days did the machine work for in the second session? I'd strongly recommend that you pause the video, try the solution, and then compare your answer with the solution that I provide you in this video. Right? Okay. I hope you have tried the solution. You did pause it and give it an attempt. Right? Chalo, let's get started. Now think about it. When you read the question, right, you realize that this question is from the chapter on time and work. So in the chapter on time and work, so remember, there are only three variables, and I always believe if a student is able to draw this table, right? Work, what is W? W is work. R is the rate of doing work, and T is the time. So if you're able to fill up this table, any question on work and time can be done very easily. So let's get started. Working at a constant rate of 138 of a day per chair. So what is the rate? Rate, we can take it as number of chairs per day. Number of chairs, I'm writing the unit, number of chairs, okay. A machine was supposed to make 600 chairs. So what will be the work? Work is nothing, but is, we define, let's define it in terms of how many chairs are made. How many chairs are made? That's work for us. And obviously in that case, time will be in days. Time will be in days, okay. Let's try to fill this up. Now, what is the work here? The work here is 600 chairs. The work here is 600 chairs, correct? Okay, let's write this as 600. Now, what is the rate? Rate is chairs per day. So, think about it. You make 138, 138 of a day. You take 138 of a day per chair. 138 of a day to make one chair. Of a day to make one chair. So, can I say... In one day, you will make 30 chairs. Just cross multiply the 30. One day, you will make 30 chairs. So, in the chapter on work and time, let's define. And I think it is always better if you take the rate as something per hour or let's say per minute, per second, per day. Okay, That's the rate for you. So, one day, how many chairs? 30 chairs. Remember, I have defined the rate as chairs per day. So, always take the rate as per day or per second, or per minute, that's the rate for you. And in our case, the time is days. So one day, 30 chairs. So can I say rate is 30 chairs per day? What is time? Remember, 600 chairs, you make, 600 chairs you are making, and you make 30 chairs per day. So can I say the number of days that you will take to complete your work is nothing but 600 divided by 30, which in our case, is going to be equal to 20. Followed? Yes? Okay. Now let's continue. However, during the first session, so this was the planning. This is how it originally or generally happens. So what are they saying? They are saying, however, during the first session, the machine made only 512 of the total chairs. So think about it. In the first session, the plan did not work what was supposed to happen. So actually what happened? they were able to produce only 512 of the total chairs. So when I say 512 of the total chairs, can I say 12 ones are 12 fives are. So 5 into 50. So basically work done is 250, 250 chairs in the first half. Right? In the second session, what has happened? The machine made the remaining chairs. How many of the remaining chairs? 600 minus 250. So first session you make 250. So in the second session, it would be 600 minus 250. So basically 350 chairs. Basically, you made 
into two chairs. Correct? By making 20 chairs per day more than it did in the first session. 20 chairs per day more it did in the first session. Now, some students can go wrong here. Now, you know what, how you go wrong? Someone might say, you know what, session one, you are making 30 chairs per day because that's what we calculated. And session two, it is 20 more. So you'll say 30 plus 20. Now, these numbers are incorrect. Think about it. The original plan was to make 138 of a take 138 of a day per chair. In other words, make 30 chairs per day. That was the planning. However, remember, however, is a contrast. It's a contrasting word. It indicates that the plan did not work out. So basically, you did not make 30 chairs. So how many chairs you made? I have absolutely no clue. That's what I need to figure out, right? So you can't take that as 30 and then the next number is 30 plus 20, 50. That would be incorrect. So rather, because I don't know, can I say first session, how many chairs do you make per day? I don't know. Let the number be, let's say, R. Fine. And in the second session, you make 20 chairs per day more. 20 chairs per day more. So first case, if you make R chairs, second scenario, you would have made R plus 20 chairs. Correct? If the actual time to make 600 chairs was 50% less. So remember, this is the hypothetical situation. This is your hypothetical situation. And what is this? This is your actual scenario. This is your actual scenario. And what happens in the actual scenario? You take 50% less time than the plan time. 50% less time than the plan time. So remember, the plan time was 20 days. Was 20 days. So if you were to take 50% less time, 50% of 20 is 10. So can I say, actually, you are only taking 10 days. You are only taking 10 days. Would you agree? And the question is asking, how many days did the machine work for in the second session? So 10, obviously, is session 1 plus 2. First session plus second session is total 10. So let's say in first one, you finished it in T days. I don't know. Let it be T. So second one will be 10 minus T. Will you agree? Remember, total is 10. So if the first one is T, second is going to be 10 minus T. Correct? All we need to figure out is this value. What is this value? How many days is the machine work for in the second session? So how much is the value of 10 minus T is what you need to determine. Will you agree? Any doubt up till here? I hope no doubts. Clear? Now, <coughs> all we need is the value of 10 minus T. That's what we need to figure out. Okay. So take a pause, reflect what we have just discussed. Okay. And if you have queries, you might want to play the video once again. Now let's continue with the second part. Let's continue with the second part. Okay. We need to determine the value of T. So think about it. Logically think about it. You have got two equations. You have got two equations. So and two unknowns. Uh, first equation, first session. And second equation, second session. So I think it's very easy. It's after that, it's just about solving these two equations. Correct? So let's try to solve it. So what is work? Can I say work is nothing but R into T. Think about it. 600 chairs you need to make. There's no rocket science here. 600 chairs you need to make. Think about the first line. And if you make 30 chairs per day, you take 20 days. So 30 into 2 is 600. So per day, 30 chairs. Obviously, you take 20 chairs. So can I say W is nothing but R into T. So let's take that. For session 1, We instead of W, we have 250. So 250 is equal to R into T. Okay, that's your equation 1. And in the second equation, it is 350 is equal to R plus 20 into 10 minus T. Into 10 minus T. Okay. Let's call the first one as equation 1. And second one as equation 2. So equation 2, can you expand? Equation 2, can you expand? 350 is equal to 10R minus RT plus 200 plus 200. Minus 20. Minus 20. Correct? So can you substitute the value of RT probably from equation 1? I think you can substitute the value of RT from equation 1. Equation 1 tells you that RT is 250. So minus 250 plus 200 minus 20. Correct? 
So please bring the very values on one side. 350 minus 50 will become plus 50. So 350 plus 50 will become 400. 400. So remember, you need the value of T. So you can substitute R. What is R in terms of T? So how did I get this 400? Minus 250 plus 200 is minus 50. Minus 50, you bring it on the left hand side. 350 plus 50 is 400. So 10 R. What is R from equation 1? Can I say R from equation 1 is also equal to 250 divided by T? Can you substitute this value? 250 divided by, correct? Minus 20. <coughs> minus 20. Yes. So I think you can just cross multiply. You can just multiply throughout by T. 400T is equal to 2500 minus 20T square. <clears throat> multiply throughout by T, right? So you can divide by 20. You can divide by 20 and remove the common factors. So 20T is equal to, 20T is equal to how much? 20T, right? So 125, 125 minus t square or can i say t square my t square plus 20 t minus 125 is equal to zero is equal to zero and i think you will get it so you can just simplify this t square plus 25 t minus 5 t minus 125 is equal to zero so can i say t into t plus 25 minus 5 into t plus 25, correct, is equal to 0, right? So from here, you can say, therefore, t is equal to minus 25, comma 5. Obviously, it cannot be negative. It cannot be minus 25. So the only possible answer is t is equal to 5. And that's the answer. Remember, I did it slowly. I, someone might say, it is taking too much of time. Is there a shortcut? No, this is the best way of solving. It is just about putting that value, putting that table, right, and solving a quadratic equation. So learning in this in this particular session, we talked about WRT, how to frame the table in WRT, and I'm going to take up a lot of questions on the chapter, each chapter rather, but I'm going to show you a specific way, an easy way. Frame the WRT in time and work chapter, and you will get any question, no matter how difficult it is. I hope you enjoyed the session. And I'm going to see you in my next session. Take care and st keep studying. Let's crack it. Thank you.